Howdy y'all, we are out in the woods again, and tonight we are trying the Coleman Inglewood 20 degree rated king size sleeping bag. Why king size, you ask? Look at me, I'm a king. Let's check it out. Oh, before we get started, I gotta let you know, this box is humongous. Yeah. Look at this thing. That is not for backpacking, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I do want to let you know this is not sponsored content. This is a 100% real review. While Coleman didn't send me anything, somebody dear to me did. My mom actually bought this years ago for herself and my dad when they got back into camping. I don't think she ever got a chance to use it, and unfortunately my father passed away a little over three years ago. While cleaning out her closet, she said, Hey, you're doing the YouTube thing. Would you like a sleeping bag? And I said... Yeah, and here we are. So we're going to try out the Inglewood 20 degree sleeping bag. I'm going to open it up in just a few minutes here. But I also have to let you know that a 20 degree sleeping bag actually means that you will survive the night at 20 degrees. That is not the comfort point, ladies and gentlemen. The comfort point is sitting somewhere a little bit higher than that, usually 15 to 20 higher. Based on what it shows on the box here, we have five pounds of fill, and our comfort point is realistically speaking about 35 degrees. So at 35 degrees, I should be comfortable. And this is a perfect night to test this because by the time I wake up in the morning here in Tennessee, we should be at 36 to 38 degrees. Let's unpack it. All right. So here's the unboxing video you didn't know you needed until you needed it right now. still wrapped and it is still massive. Look at the size of this thing. This is a flannel lined sleeping bag, so I should sleep like a baby, but it's also about, I don't know, eight pounds, 10 pounds carrying. So again, pack it in the car. You do not want to hike in with this. Of course, it's already started to rain by the time we do this. So I'm going to try to do this in this tent. I'll tell you more about this tent in a future video. It's, um, not great. Now, what's nice about this is it does have its own wrap cord. This is advertised that it makes it easy to wrap up. Might make it a little uneasy to unwrap since this has been in a closet for a minimum of about three years. But let's dig in here. That is a workout. Now for the other side. Okay. And let's see if I can make this look cool like they do in all the professional videos. Meh. Maybe without the sleep bed in there it would have worked. The first thing I notice about this honestly, is it's, uh, it's a little heavy and thick, so that's nice. Pardon me while I get in the shot. Always good to have literature. So what's funny about this, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you know I love orange camping gear. This worked out nicely. I'm gonna show you this zipper. This zipper, they patented this and they call this a zip plow. One word, zip plow, zip plow. And uh, this little red thing is supposed to move the fill out of the way when you zip. So you never pinch your zipper and get stuff stuck together. I'll review that in the morning. And that's that so far. Really can't show you a whole lot until I'm in it and I wake up in the morning. But I'll tell you what, right now, it's about 68 degrees. I've been sweating because I've been running around camp and setting up a fire and all that. This might be too warm tonight. I'm really hoping we do get down into the mid-30s. If we don't, I'm sleeping on top of this. So I promise we'll get right back to the video. But first, I want to thank one of our sponsors, Borvo Broth. 
Borvo broth makes an instant sipping bone broth. And I gotta be honest, not only does this stuff taste great, but I feel so much better at the end of a long day camping. Seriously. I used to back aspirin and protein powder, and now one cup of this, which is basically like soup, has me feeling fantastic. All you do is take your favorite mug, whatever your camp cooking stove is, heat up eight ounces of water, a little less if you like it stronger, take one compostable package of bone broth, pour it in, stir it up, and you are good to go. And you did hear me say compostable. That's right, one of my favorite things about this when I'm hiking or camping is if I accidentally drop this, even though I always try to get all my trash out, I know I'm not killing the environment because this is 100% compostable. It's like a warm, hot cup of soup. This is the beef vegetable. It's got celery, onion, beef, um, spices in there. Uh, lots of great stuff. Not to mention I've got 10 grams of protein, amino acids, uh, I can't stop drinking it. Eight grams of collagen, all the good stuff that's actually gonna help my body feel better when I wake up in here tomorrow morning. Thanks for indulging me on this. I've got an affiliate link down below. Definitely check it out. They're always running deals and specials. Okay, back to our video. All right, I apologize for the shadow. I'm operating on tent mode right now and the lighting isn't exactly the best, but um, you can see me and that's kind of I guess what's important. Anyway, um, I am all tucked in. Uh, had a bit of a change of attire. It's been raining nonstop all night. And I've been uh, pretty much sitting out in it. It's been moderately light. I mean, a few, a few heavy squalls. But mostly just light sprinkling. And uh, there's something about October rain. How it comes down cold when you're sitting right next to a fire, that unless it's a downpour, it's, uh, I don't know, I kind of find it delightful. But my shirt was a little bit wet, uh, so I've had to change into some dry clothes, dry hat. Um, but I am in the tent, I am hunkered down. The temperature is down to about 60 degrees right now. It looks like they've updated the forecast. I don't think we're gonna dip below 40. It looks like we might be getting to about 42, 44. So, it's a bit of a bummer, because I really wanted to test this below 40. But I figured while I'm talking about it, I'll give you a little bit of information about this Coleman. Um, like I had said earlier, my mom had been keeping this in a closet for three or four years. So, I, I looked online, and it looks like you can find these on eBay. And um, <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond actually had them listed, but it showed nothing in stock. So... I don't know if they don't make these anymore, and I'm reviewing something that just doesn't exist. Um, I did find some that were rated for 25 degrees, and they had a little bit of a different liner. So I'm wondering if maybe they've just kind of updated it and realized they were shooting too, uh, too hopeful with a 20-degree bag. But um, I'll post a few links to similar products and the, the Bed Bath & Beyond link uh, as well if you want to take a look at that. Yeah, maybe I'm reviewing something you can't even buy anymore. Regardless, I'm having fun, and uh, hopefully you're having fun too, and if nothing else, I'll give you an overview of Coleman, or you can watch an idiot camp in the rain. I don't know. Um, we're just going to take it for what it is at this point, I guess. But um, it is 80 inches long, which is bigger than I need. I'm only 5 foot 10, but uh, it is 80 inches long, uh, which is nice because I can pull it up over my head if it gets really cold. It is 36 inches long wide. So it is uh, three full feet wide. My regular sleeping bag is actually a little smaller than this, but it's a king size and I'm a king, so we're going to rock this out. All right, I got to be honest with you right now. It's a little too warm. So the shirt is off, the hat's coming off, and I'm going to unzip it and sleep with my arms out until it gets colder. See you in the morning. And good morning. It is about 7.30, um, which is, sunrise was about 10 minutes ago, so this is really kind of nice um, to sleep in a little bit. I'm used to getting up uh, like around 6, 6.30 when I go camping, so I've been spoiled. But that's not what you want to know. You want to know about the sleeping bag. Let me tell you a little something. Um, I, I'm trying out a new tent today, too. 
I was going to do a review on that, but I'm not sure I can... I'm not, this thing may just end up in the trash before I ever get another video going. Uh, yeah, that good. The sleeping bag, on the other hand, fantastic. Um, we had a low... It was supposed to be in the 30s last night, uh, and then they revised that sometime in the afternoon. It did not get down to the 30s. We had a low of 44 degrees at about 5.30 this morning. And I gotta be honest with you, I slept like a baby. In fact, at even at 44, and we're at 46 degrees now at 7.30, and uh, I put a shirt on. So what that, and a hat. <laughs> so what that means is I spent the night in this 20 degree rated Coleman Inglewood sleeping bag, and I did it in a pair of shorts and some tall socks and that's pretty much it um i slept shirtless all the way down to 44 degrees and i was actually so comfortable it got a little warm in the night um so i actually unzipped it to about to about my knees so i could have a little air flap to let some of this heat out which is honestly better than I thought it would perform. Um, I am used to sleeping bags saying they're rated for a certain temperature and then being cold when you're not even close to that temperature. And that's not what happened here. I, I actually stayed warm in the night, um, a little too warm. So, I mean, guaranteed we were around 50 for most of the night, 50 to 55 for most of the night until the rain and winds swept in and brought us down to about 44. But I got a great night of sleep uh, in this bag. My only real complaint is that it did have a tendency, because it's kind of so thick and heavy, it did have a tendency to bunch up in the feet area. Um, but part of that's my own fault because I do toss and turn a lot. Um, I've got some back issues, so I don't exactly uh, sleep straight and through the night. I kind of toss and turn and switch from side to side. So it did bunch up a bit more than a normal sleeping bag for me. Um, and I guess this is a normal sleeping bag, but I'm, you know, I'm used to the really, really light, tight, uh, the ones that come packed down to nothing so you can take them out in your backpack or whatever. Um, this is a big, heavy bag. But uh, other than a little bunching by the feet, which I just had to fix once or twice in the night, um, <laughs> fantastic night of sleep. Performed fantastically. So I'm going to make some breakfast, and then I am going to uh, let the sun come up a little bit so I'm not holding a bar light here, and I will roll this thing up. The reviews on this across a few different platforms were mostly about four stars, and the reason for four instead of five from almost every comment I read was that rolling this thing up is not fun. So we're going to see how that goes, but I'm going to eat some breakfast and have some coffee first. I'll catch you in a bit. One side has just this little toggle, and the other side has a loop, just like this. And then maybe I can tighten the toggle. No, it doesn't tighten. That packs up way too big. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up with a list of the pros and cons, and the honest would I do it again review. My biggest con, honestly, is the size of this thing. It is ginormous. Um, it's ridiculous. Also, the way you strap it, I like Velcro. Um, Velcro tabs are so simple. Buckles, pull straps, so simple. Bungee cords, so simple. This is a weird uh, kind of guy line. It's got directions, but basically it's got kind of a cord tied to corners and then another cord that's got a guy line on it and you pretty much pull them through each other and then 
pull that guy line as tight as you want. This is as tight as I really feel like dealing with it today. And again, this thing is a monster. Um, that said, I slept like a baby. Um, it was a comfortable bag. Uh, as far as being king-sized, as I've said uh, about half a dozen times now, I'm a king, so it's a king-sized bag. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll see a lot of camping, hiking, and eating here in Northeast Tennessee and beyond. And until we meet again, happy trails.